Vintage pictures of supermodel Carla Bruni in the early 90s, selling furiously in this Paris gallery. Now she's French President Nicolas Sarkozy's official flame. Everybody who comes here, they, they say, oh, Carla Bruni, it's an unbelievable that you found those images from the 90s, because all, uh, uh, everybody now, you can see her everywhere, but from recent pictures. The ink barely dry on his divorce papers. President Nicolas Sarkozy's latest catch is top topic in the country's gossip magazines. The regional paper L'Est Républicain even claiming Monday that he'd already married Bruni in a secret ceremony last Thursday. Rumours that the presidential palace has refused to comment on. True or not, it seems that even the gossip mags editors have had enough of all the speculation. Everybody says they got married. They got married Thursday, they got married Friday. It was Friday at 4 o'clock at the, the, the town hall of 16th district where Carla Bruni. Then people called and said, no, it was at L'Elysée on Friday night. Then they said, now, uh, uh, she's rented some room, they're going on honeymoon in Italy. Everybody wants to know, but just to know, in fact, I think, it, I think we don't really care. After four weeks of Carla Covers, Point de Vue's latest spread is of Sarkozy's ex, Cecilia. Three books were published about her life with Sarkozy just last week, giving the French a whole new insight into the alleged philandering ways of their president. The sense from the streets, though, and from recent polls showing a decline in his popularity ratings, that enough's enough. I'm very tired to, to see him uh, in uh, old magazines. Of course, uh, to me, he's the president. He's not uh, the, the singer, not the actor. It's private life. Just like the most important is talk about politics and what they're doing for the country and all those stuff. If the French president has already or does marry Carla Bruni anytime soon, he'll be the first French leader to marry during his term in office since Napoleon married Josephine. Diana Magne, CNN, Paris.